Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can implement this profile screen and this edit profile screen in our React Native app. So as you can see over here, this is the profile screen from the user's point of view. This is not the public profile screen. This screen will be presented to the user and after clicking on this edit button, they will be presented with this edit profile screen where the user can edit their profile information and if we click on this profile image then we will be presented with this bottom sheet and here we have some other information right now these things are not working as i haven't implemented the image picker functionality yet i will implement that thing in my next tutorial so stay tuned for that right now we can cancel it in this tutorial i will show you how to implement this bottom sheet and how we can create this edit profile screen and this user profile screen and also with that i will show you if we choose the top theme then our screens also support that okay so that's the tutorial guys this is what i am going to show you today so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial so this is our project and here we are at the profile screen and also i will create another screen which is our edit profile screen right so i will create that now here we need to create that profile screen ui and for that here i will paste some styles to help create our ui so here i have pasted the styles so you can take note of these styles by pausing the video or else you can get the code from my github i will submit this code to my github repo so you can get the codes from there and now here we need to import few things from react native paper and we have already installed that while we have installed the react navigation so these are the thing we need from react native paper now here we can create our layout for that first we need to create a view and for the style of this view we will use user info section then we will create another view and over there we will provide the user image so for the source of this image uri i will provide this url and for the size of it i will use 80 pixel now save this okay text has been already declared so we can remove this text now save this now here we can see our profile image but it's going at the top of the screen so we need to wrap this with safe area view and we can replace this view with safe area view now after saving this we can see it's now showing properly now after this image i will add another view and over there we will provide a title and this title will hold the username and then caption and it will hold the user id and for the style of this title we have styles title and for the caption we have the styles caption now save it after saving it we can see that these are present at the bottom of this image but i want to present these two beside this image so for that i need to provide some styling for this wrapper view so here the style will be flex direction row also i want to provide some margin at the top 15 pixel and then for this view which is holding the title and the caption here i will provide another style margin left 20 so it will provide a proper spacing right now we need to add some margin at the top of this title so we can add that margin to this view also we can add that margin to the title as well i am going to add this in our title and here i will provide margin top 15 pixel and margin bottom 5 pixel so now it's positioned properly now after this section i will add another section where i will display some user information and that will also be user info section and there i will present the user location phone number email id these informations 
so first i will display the location of the user like this and before this location i want to display an icon so for that i need to import icon from react native vector icons and i will use material community icons so the icon name is map marker radius size of it will be 20 now let's save it our icon is present over there now i will change the colors of these things so for the color of it i will use this color and for the textile i will use same color and for the margin left i will use 20 pixel now save it it's looking like as i want it now i can copy this several times for other informations as well and let me quickly add those informations here now after saving this we can see that our data is present over here now we need to add another section where i will present our wallet amount and our total orders so for that after this section i will add another section and that will be this info box wrapper and within this info box wrapper we will add two info box so it will be styles info box and here we will have the wallet information so how much amount we have in our wallet and similarly we will have another info box where we have the information of our orders now save this now after saving this we can see that we have a line before and after this section right but i want another line in between these two info box so for that i will add some styles here to this info box and it will be border right color i will use this color and border right width will be one after saving this we can see that our border is present so now it's looking nice now we have another section left for this screen which will be our menu wrapper now in this menu wrapper i will add some menu items and for that menu item i will wrap those with this touchable ripple and it will be menu item and for the menu item we will have a text and along with the text we will have an icon as well and for the color of it i will use this color and for the size i will use 25 pixel now save it now our icon is present we need to style this text and it will be our menu item text so now it's looking good if we click over here then nothing happens because we haven't added this on press now i have added this black function to this on press now we can see we can click here and we have a click effect right so now we can copy this menu several times so now after saving this we can see all the menu items are present right now we are completed with the layout of this profile screen but we have a major thing left which is the navigation bar and that will be created through our navigator and that navigator is present in our main tab screen here if we see for the profile tab we have this profile screen right and that profile screen is coming from this profile screen js file but i want to change that i want to change that with a stack screen as we have this detail stack home stack i want to create another stack for profile so it will be profile stack then we need to create that stack navigator so after this detail stack screen i will create profile stack screen so i copy this thing and paste it here and it will be profile stack screen now for this profile stack background color i will use this background color and for the tint color i will use black color for the menu icon i will use black color now save this now we need to add this profile stack screen 
in this tab screen component now save this now after saving this we can see that our navigation header is present over here but i don't want this background color to be black so i need to change it to white for the color of it i will use black color so now it's looking good and we can access our drawer from here right and i don't want this profile title in this section so for that i will use this title so our title has been gone now after that in the right hand side i want a profile edit icon so i will create that here so it will be header right and there i will use another icon button and i will use a material community icon over here so i need to import that and it will be account edit now our account edit icon is present here right now we can access this drawer from this but i want to navigate to edit profile screen for that i need to add that to this stack navigator after this profile stack screen i will add another profile stack screen and it will be edit profile title of it will be edit profile and component of it will be edit profile screen which we need to import from this edit profile screen js file right now we can navigate to this edit profile screen now save this so we have an error because we haven't created this edit profile screen yet so now i have created it now let's see so we are going to our edit profile screen right now we need to do some more customization here here you can see a thin line beneath this navigation header right i don't want that line here it will look like that all these things are presented in same place so for that we need to add some more properties here here we need to add shadow color and the shadow color will be same as this background color right now save this after saving this we can see that line has been gone but this will only work for the ios for the android we need to add this elevation property and for the elevation we need to add this zero value so it will work for the android and i don't want this to be bold so i will remove this now it's looking good now we need to create the edit profile screen ui to create this ui we need to import some api from react native so it will be these apis from react native and then we need to import some icons from react native vector icons as well so these are the icons i will use so make sure you install these icons for your project and refer to the official documentation for more guidance now here we will create the ui and for the ui i will paste some styles here so you can get these codes from my github repo or else you can pause the video so within this container i will add another view and for the style of this view i will use margin 20 and then i will create another view and for this view style align items to center and here i will provide the user profile image and i will give the ability to click on that image and that will open the bottom sheet so i will add this touchable opacity here and for on press currently i am providing this blank function now for this view style i will use these styles and within this view i will use this image background and for the image background source i will use this image for the style of it i will use height and width 100 pixel and for the image style 
i will use border radius 15 pixel now save this so this is how our image is looking right now and top of this image i want to display a camera icon so for that i am creating another view here and within this view i will provide an icon size of it will be 35 color of it will be white color and for the style of it i will use these styles now after saving it i can see a camera icon has been present over here but it's not properly aligned so i need to align that properly for that i will add some styles in this view as well and these are the styles now after saving this we can see that it has been aligned properly at the middle of this image right and later i will add the click functionality here when we will click here then our bottom sheet will be appeared from this bottom of the screen but before that i want to implement other sections as well so those things will be text input and some icons and after those text input at the bottom we will have a submit button so let me create those things and also after this image we will have the username and so here is the username and for the styles of it i will use these styles okay now after this view we need to create those text input fields so for that create a view and provide our styles here so it will be styles action this style now here we will have the text input for the text input placeholder it will be first name placeholder text color will be this color style of it will be text input now after saving this we can see the text input field has been present here and we can start typing here right but we can see that whenever we are typing that time we have this citation or autocorrect options right but i don't want that so for that i will use this autocorrect as false after that if we type then we can see that we don't have any suggestions here and for the name we don't need any suggestion right now beside this text input i want to display an icon as well so for that i will use this font awesome icon and the icon will be this icon and for the size of it i will use 20 pixel now save it after saving it i can see that it's showing properly and now here i want to implement some other thing as well as you may remember that i have told you at the starting of this tutorial that i want to consider this dark theme preference as well for our app right and right now i can see that our profile screen is taking consideration of that in some part but in the header area it's not considering that and for this section here we can see the similar thing the header is not considering that this text input is considering in some parts but i want to implement it properly so for that i will import use theme from react native paper and we can access these colors from use theme now for this icon color i can use colors.text so now after saving this we can see this icon is considering the drop theme and similarly for this text input style we can provide that text color so for that here we can provide this text color as well now we can see that it's considering our drop theme and later i will implement this header part as well right now let's see this in our light theme now we can copy this view several times for our other text fields so i have copied this several times now after this first name i will have last name and it will be similar kind of thing then we will have phone number and i will use this feather icon here now after this phone we will have email and here i will use envelope now after this i will create a field for country it will be globe and then another one for city
so our fields has been added properly now let's see our first name last name is working perfectly but for the phone i want to change the keyboard type so keyboard type will be number pad and this number pad will be supported for both android and ios platform now after saving this we can see that it has been changed now for the email i want to change the keyboard type to email as well so keyboard type will be email address now we have this at the red symbol present here now we have almost completed with the ui of this page now after this text field i will add a submit button so here it will be touchable opacity and for on press i will use a blank function for the text of it i will use submit text and for the style of this touchable opacity will be this command button and for this text style i will use panel button title now save this now after saving this we can see that it's looking perfect now we need to add the bottom sheet to our react native app so for that i will use this react native reanimated bottom sheet package and here we have some beautiful looking examples and we have the information to install it so i am going to install it after installing this we can see how we can use it we have this bottom sheet we need to import it from reanimated bottom sheet and we have the render content render header and we have snap points we can have multiple snap points for our bottom sheet but minimum we need to have two snap points so you can definitely check this documentation i will provide the link in the description below also we have some great examples here and i have taken some codes from these examples which i am going to implement here so first we need to import this bottom sheet from reanimated bottom sheet package and then we need to import reanimated from react native reanimated package so let's see if it is installed in our package or not so we can see it has been installed in our package already so we need these two packages then we need to create reference using create ref hook and another variable for animation now here after this container we need to add this bottom sheet and for this bottom sheet reference we will use this reference then we need to have some snap points as i told you that we need to have two snap points minimum to open the drawer when the bottom sheet will be invisible that time it will be at zero and when it will be visible that time it will be at this position from the bottom of the screen and then for the initial snap we need to provide a value which will be from this array so first one is zero position second one is one so if i want this bottom sheet to be opened then i will use this zero position value if i want this bottom sheet to be closed when we visit the screen so i need to use this position value so it will be one right for the callback node i will use this fall and for the enable gesture interaction i will use true so that we can swipe it to the bottom if it is set to false then we cannot swipe it to bottom it can be done from the button click only i will show you this within a minute now these things are quite important but now we have the most important section which is the render content and render header the render header is optional but render content is the most important part it will define what we want to display within the bottom sheet so it will be render inner i will create this function and also i want to use this render header as well so i will create this render header functions as well first let me create this render inner function 
and then render header function within this render header we will have few views only so for the view style i will use this header panel header and panel handle so we need to create three views so i have created this header and now let's create a simple text here now i want when we will click on this image that time our bottom sheet will be opened so for that here we need to add that functionality and we can do that with this reference variable with this current we can provide the snap points and that snap point will be zero position which means this one right now save this now after saving this let's see we have an error now we need to close this metro bundler ui process and rebuild our project okay it will be snap 2 now let's see nothing happens now let me check it a few moments later so now here i have made a mistake i have to return this it will be this parenthesis not the curly braces and similar thing for this as well now save it now let's see so we can see that a panel has been appearing from the bottom right so this is our bottom sheet and we can see that we can interact with it so this is what the gesture enabled is doing if we set it to false then we cannot do this thing now we need to add some more components here so for that i will add a view and it will be panel and within this panel we can provide our content so now you can see that it has a white background right so now i will start designing that so this is our title now we will align this to center and now here i will add some buttons now after saving this we can see a button has appeared over here i copy this two more times and here it will be choose from library and this one will be cancel now i want this bottom sheet to disappear whenever i click on this cancel so for that i will add a on press and for that function i will add this snap to property and it will snap to to this position so it will be one position right so i saved it now let's see if i click on this cancel then it's getting disappeared right so that's how it's working now it's working perfectly but i want to provide some more customization to it i want to blur these things whenever it appears so for that i will use this animated so let's change this view to animated view and for this animated view i will use opacity this one so it will animate to 0.121 now save this let's see see whenever it's appearing that time this contents becoming 0.1 percent opaque so we can control this if we want to make some changes then we can do this so from 1 to it's coming to this opaque value but i think this 0.1 value is working perfectly for this scenario so that's how we have implemented this bottom sheet in our react native app now we need to do some more customization in this header section for dark theme so let me change this to dark theme now we need to do those customization for this header so here 
we have imported this colors from this use theme hook and this use theme is coming from this react native paper right so we need to use those things for our main tab screen where we can customize our header so for the profile stack we will use this and to use this we need to return it okay so okay so we have returned it and here we can use this use theme and now i need to import it now here i can use this so for the background color i will use colors background for shadow color i will use the same color for the header tint color i will use colors dot text so it will be the text color now for the background color of this icon i will use colors background and for the color of it i will use colors text and similar thing will be for this icon as well now save this now after saving this we can see that it has been changed properly right so that's how it's working for light theme and dark theme as well right and if you haven't seen my dark theme tutorial yet i would highly recommend that you see that tutorial then you will understand this much more clearly so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial and in my next tutorial i will implement image picker to our application so stay tuned for that i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this if you have any kind of suggestion for me then let me know in the comment section below and share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues so i will see you in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye